All right, we're ready to do our cube, our last form. If you did this with us with a pencil, you know we start out with the square. And we make a diagonal line here, a parallel diagonal, diagonal line and another one here. And then we make this a vertical line. And if you're not careful, your hand is gonna wanna make it go slanted. So be real careful with that. It's just like a natural thing that the eye does. And it'll do the same thing up here. If you're not careful, you'll end up having it going way off there. So be careful with that. Now, if we want this box to be open, we're gonna need another line right there. So we are good to go. Our light source again, over here. And remember when we did this with the pencil, we talked about the fact that our light, our highlight is actually hitting the outside of the box over here. So we're not gonna see the lightest space. I'm trying to get me some paint ready. Um, I used all of my red and white, so I have to get me a little bit more out. All right, so we're not gonna have our highlight painted here on this side because you can't see it. It's on the outside, it's over there, and you can't see it. What we're gonna start out with this is the front of the box with our base red. And just paint that. And again, I'm trying to go quick because I know you guys are happier when you have the paintbrush in your hand than you are when you're just watching a video. So I'm trying to go quick it might not be as neat as yours, but it's gonna get the point across to you so you could get busy on yours. And you feel free um, to watch this more than once before you start. Again, it's, it's not very long, so it won't take long. And um, if you watch it a couple times, it might make it easier on you when you get started. Or once you start yours, if you need to re-watch it, Feel free to do that. So I'm gonna paint the front of mine right now, just my base red. And then I'm gonna look at where my core shadow is. The light's coming from here, so it's not hitting here. And it's not hitting here. Those are gonna be my two areas with the core shadow. So I'm just gonna take some of my red, put over here, a little bit of black can add to it. And again, it's called shading when you add black. It's called tinting when you add white. So we're gonna make this a dark, dark red because there's no light getting to it. So that's our core shadow. It's dark, dark, dark. It's not black though. You can see the red in it. And I could see where I just made mine go, like I warned you about how it'll go at a diagonal. I just did what I warned you about, so I'm gonna try to straighten it up a little bit on the top. That's why a lot of artists will use rulers on things like this and measure it. Now this area here is also gonna be dark. They'll measure it so they could uh, make sure they get it right. All right, so I, now I have my two core shadows. This area is gonna be darker than the front, but not as dark as the sides. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of my red. I can't try to add red to this dark color here. It would take so much to tone it down. So I'm just gonna add a little bit over here on the side. Now it's a nice little medium. It's not as bright as that up here, but it's not as dark as those sides.
Now, as I get farther up here, I'm going to add a little bit more red to it to make it a little lighter. Because it's getting a little bit more light at the top than it is down towards the bottom of the box. Down here it might be just a hair darker. Alright, so there's my cube. And what I need now is my cast shadow. And again, it's going to be darker, closer to it. And just get lighter as it goes out. And just play with that. Now since the light's hitting it this way, if I want it to, I can make this side just a hair darker on the box. And not, not just a, a whole lot darker, just a hair darker, just to make it a little interesting. All right, so there's my cube. We have our cube, our cylinder, our sphere, and our cone. So practice this, and then just like we did before, find some object, something easy, like a cup or um, even a pencil. Draw it big, fill up your entire page, and paint it with that one color. It's called monochromatic. All right, so that's, that's the last part of this assignment. Have a good time with that. I know I can't wait to see what you do. Thanks.